My name is Paola Vasquez. I got into the program. They helped me get my forklifting license. A year later, I got pregnant. Um, I wanted to finish school, so I remember SGVCC um, helped us um, help troubled youth um, continue their, their, their school to get the high school diploma, and we were allowed to bring our kids to class with us. Girls stop going to school because they need to drop out because of the baby, because they don't have a babysitter. It all depends. Everybody has a different situation. But in this school, in SGVCC, um, you could bring your baby and no one's gonna say no to you. You know, you don't have to feel uncomfortable. There's more than one baby in the class. I brought my son when he was four months old and I graduated till he was three. So that was kind of like a lot, you know. Um, he grew up kind of with the teachers and he learned how to walk in, the, in my math class in Miss Priscilla's class. We, we make it work one way or another. My name is Olga Duran and I'm the case manager, career counselor for the San Gabriel Valley Conservation Corps. I sit down with each uh, core member and assess them, um, see where they're at right now and what they want to do after they transition from a core member into a workplace or going to college. So we work with the DPSS, uh, one of my uh, colleagues is over there is Julie Avila. She's with the game program and she refers some of her participants that are that qualify to do the job training here. They're between 18 to 25 and um, or we will refer um, participants from here to DPSS for some of their programs that they have over there and um, that our core members need them. Public services I receive CalFresh, Cash Aid, and having EBT too helps me so I can have lunch. Also, like I just like being able to know that I'm going to be able to provide for my son, thanks to the help of the public services. We go out in the community. We help out a lot, you know, because we want to help our community. One of the components of our program, our program, which is a job training program. Uh, based out of El Monte, but we also have a site in Pomona. We are today uh, distributing, uh, helping the uh, congresswoman distribute turkeys to those less fortunate. And, and as part of this community service, I always feel that the young people are doing community service. It should not be punitive. It should not be picking up trash in an alley. These young people want to give back to the community and. And this is a way of them helping. What you just saw is they help distribute the turkeys to organizations that distribute them to the individuals. 300 families will be served from this distribution alone. In the, in the morning, I would wake up like at 6 in the morning, you know, get ready, be at the court by 7. Um, by 7.15, we were all already um, loading up the tools. We were already all be in the van. By 8 o'clock, we would already be up in the mountains. So we would get there and they'll tell us what we need to do and everybody would spread out and do what they had to do. It feels good knowing that you are not only helping out the people, but also the natural habitat and the environment. I saw a big change in myself coming here. Um, I think if I didn't come to SGV, I would have been in jail for a couple of years or in the hospital somewhere, or even dead. But thanks to this program, I got out of the streets. Um, I was president of the school. I graduated late, four, four years late, but I graduated. Yeah, my mom is really proud. Um, my whole family went to my graduation, actually. And um, I got to walk with my baby on stage and everything. It was really, it was, um, I never thought, I never saw myself actually graduating. I never saw myself um, working, you know, like, I never saw myself like this. I've seen lots of people, well, lots of youth uh, rebuild their lives, and I see them, like, when they were not too good and graduated, and now they have jobs. When I first met Paola, she reminded me a lot of me, you know, of myself. She, she had great leadership skills, I think she just didn't know it yet. She's very determined now, you know, and I think she now believes in herself to, that she can achieve the things that she wants to achieve. 
Um, and I think she didn't have that confidence before. Um, this program is important to me because I thought that um, not having my high school diploma and having a baby at an early age, I thought like I wasn't going to be able to do nothing until now. But being here in this program and being in the school, I learned that there is more opportunities out there. You just have to go out and look. Like if you, you just sit at home and say, oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. No, like that doesn't work because I was like that. The first three months after I had my baby, I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I can't do this. I have a newborn, you know, like I don't even have my high school diploma. I'm not going to be able to get a job. But then I remembered about the program and I was like, you know what? I got to go out there. Like They're not going to come over here and look for me. I got to go out and I got to look. And I did it and now I'm here.